Well, growing toward the sky and a few charities getting added attention. CBS 17's Bill Young has more on this issue of Raleigh Magazine. A new month means a new issue of Raleigh Magazine. You might notice right on the cover this spectacular building, one of many new buildings coming to Raleigh. Publisher Gina Stevens joining us with the backstory. Oh, it's great to see you, Gina. Thanks for having me. All right, what is this? So this is our development issue. We look at district by district, all the buildings, 17 projects are coming out of the ground currently. Um, and this cover girl is the Weld. It's a $700 million mixed use development. Um, at the park, at, in that park district, it's Dix Park. Um, it is just incredible. It's gonna have 700 apartments, retail and restaurant. There's another project there, Rockway. Um, every apartment has a view of the park. Mm -hmm. But we also look at the West End District and a new rooftop pool apartment building that's stunning. We look at Midtown and the three projects, including the Exchange and what North Hills has coming. But we cover the entire city, from PNC to Blue Ridge, all over, all the new things coming out of the ground. I love it. All right, let's talk about uh, some philanthropic work. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and, and we're launching Give Raleigh, partnered with Town Bank and Town Insurance. We've chosen a trio of charities that we believe really have their hands in the dark, making a difference in our city, helping families with all kinds of needs. Um, we chose a place at the table, uh, Tammy Lynn Center and Transitions Life Care. And we are going to partner to match every donation up to $10,000. So $5 becomes 10, 10 becomes 20. Um, it's a 40 day campaign and we really um, believe that we love telling the stories about this city. We want to help make a difference and make it a better place. Well, you guys also have a really neat event coming up soon. We do. We're doing a great at ticketed event November 18th. Um, it, we're going to name Bartender of the Year. And so the nominees will be there mixing drinks. This Picture this. Big tent, chandeliers, 10 separate bars, great food. And, we've, uh, and this is presented by the Exchange Raleigh. But we've partnered with Woodhouse Spa and Charles and Colvard for some sort of glam experiences. Everyone's going to leave with a cocktail cookbook at the end of the night. It's going to be a great event. Great. I know there's one more thing we have to cover. Well, I wanted to share. We got the exclusive sneak peek. Um, for a while, you know, Highwoods has been really looking to partner to put a great full service, great restaurant on the bottom level of the Wells Fargo building. Well, they let us announce it in this issue, and it's going to be LM Restaurants is opening it. And so it'll, it'll serve breakfast, but the breakfast bar is going to turn into champagne and dessert late night. It's going to be, you know, they call it sort of, you know, tennis shoes or business meeting. It's going to be a restaurant for everybody right on Fayetteville Street, and they're doing this incredible piece of art. Um, this Atlanta artist is coming to town to do something similar to what's on their greenway um, there. So it's big news for Raleigh. We've needed a, a full service, big restaurant on Fayetteville Street. So oh, I love hearing the news. And to get the scoop, where do we go? Um, RaleighMag.com, 10 issues, $10. You can pick it up around town. And you got a podcast. Yes, Office Talk with Raleigh Magazine. It's kind of the behind the scenes. We talk about how we find our stories, how we get them. Um, there's a podcast about Give Raleigh and our cocktail event coming up. So take a listen. I love it, Gina. Always a pleasure to see you. Thanks.